greatness is Gavin here and I'm going to be talking about the three things that are killing Empath's vibration right now. Killing Empath's energy. This is an energy update and I can see what's happening on the planet right now. There's a lot of things happening in the world and there's a lot of chaos going on and it's disturbing the Empath's energy. It's disturbing the light workers' energy. And hopefully, uh, by the end of this video, you will understand a little bit more about what's affecting you and infecting you and stopping you from raising your vibration and maintaining a vibrational state that aligns with source so that you can propel yourself forward and really create more change in the world. So for me personally, these experiences that are happening in the world, I use it and I use it to motivate me to do more. So I'm going to be talking about the first thing here that really holds people back, holds empaths back from really raising their vibration and being the person that they would like to be. So it will stop them from being affected and really causing harm to themselves. So the first thing is knowing that there are the opposite to you out there in the world. And so the opposite to you is someone who is narcissistic, someone who is a sociopath, someone who is a psychopath, someone is who is a megalomaniac. These particular people don't have much empathy, very little empathy or no, no empathy at all. And so when we look at the leaders in the world, when we look at government, when we look at people at the top who are fairly successful, a lot of them, I'm not saying all of them, a lot of them have this sociopathic, megalomaniac, narcissistic type personality or energy. And so in the medical terms, they call that a, a mental condition. And we don't realize it, but these people, they kind of don't care about us. It's more about money and power and control. And so we are brought here as light workers, as empaths to change all of that. We are here not to feel weak towards these people, but to realize our power. You see, when we have a parasite, parasites require a host. And so when you feel fear, when you feel a low vibration, when you feel anxiety, when you feel powerless, they win and they feel good about it when you feel bad. And so they are so manipulative that they will show up as someone that's a good person. But in actuality, what they're doing is not necessarily that great or that good. It's not coming from the right space. It's not coming from love. And so we need to know this as light workers that we are open to parasites because we are sweet and soft and gentle and um, sensitive to energy and we have and resonate on a high vibrational frequency. We as empaths are like food. We're like food. We're like the supply for people like narcissists, empaths. Uh, sorry, narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, megalomaniacs. If you don't know what a megalomaniac is, it's someone who just cares about money and power. Okay? And their whole life is just designed to want more power. And if you look at... Um, there's a cartoon called Pinky and the Brain. I don't even remember that. And the brain guy, Mouse, wanted to take over the world. Do you have any desire to take over the world. You as an empath, very high chance that no, 
you don't want to take over the world. Well, the opposite to that is taking over the world. And these people, that's what they're all about, about controlling the world and manipulating people and all this stuff. And so right now, you might be feeling a little bit weak about that or a little bit like, why, why are they doing that? Why are they, you know, all of this stuff? Well, what I would... Well, what I would say to that is, again, don't use it as your demise, use it as your power. I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in just a sec. So we have to understand that there's this term called sovereignty. Okay, you've got to be sovereign. Sovereign is when you are taking back your power and you are realizing that you need to govern yourself. And not listening to the government so much, but governing and controlling yourself. Because the reality is the external world doesn't truly exist. They only exist with the feelings and emotions that you have inside of you. And so what we need to do is take back control of ourselves and go inward and realize our power. Once we do that, we can now move forward in a sovereign state and change reality, change the world. The second thing uh, that's killing empaths right now is giving away power, giving away power, right? So we previously spoke about how these people are in control, are trying to take over the world and all of this stuff and trying to control the world. And they're, they're taking your power through the news, media, you know, with the, you know, coronavirus, with you know all of these you know problems and wars and all of this stuff, they they want to take away your power, and it's, it's important for us to realize again that the external world doesn't exist. The reason why these things are happening in the world is because they are functioning from ego, right? They're functioning from ego, and so we have to understand that we all have ego, and as empaths, we want to learn how to function from love. From the heart space rather than from the head space now i'm not asking you to be totally woo woo which is my next point we're going to be talking about in just a sec i think you should be practical and you should be logical about things but you want to operate your core operation should be from your heart space okay that's what's going to really change things in this world because again the leaders or the government um and if you can you want to talk about the Illuminati and all these people that control and manipulate the world, they right, are functioning from ego, all right? And so we want to do the opposite to that. And that's what's really going to make a lot of change. So the external world only exists with the mind. And so if you are experiencing me right now, you can experience in me as, you can choose to experience me as something negative or you can choose to experience me as something positive. That's just the ego. And so you wanna choose how you feel about life. You have to govern yourself and really choose how you're gonna feel about life. All right, you have to choose how you're gonna feel about reality. All right, and so that all starts within. So you have to design in your mind and your emotions the way you perceive reality when you do that now you're going to see life differently and you'll be able to make choices and decisions that align with source okay align with the heart space the third thing that i want to share with you is the woo woo versus taking action okay so i consider myself a spiritual person but i also take action Right now, I'm recording this video for you and I'm taking action to help people. And so what I'm saying is that when it comes to light workers and empaths, sometimes we're just a little bit too woo-woo about it. So let's just stay in love and light. Let's just, you know, be in high vibration, all this stuff. I think it's important to educate ourselves about the darkness and our own inner darkness so that we can navigate it and so that we can work with it and transmute it into light. Most of us are just trying to avoid pain 
and the fears and we're distracting ourselves and we're taking drugs and we're drinking alcohol and we're consuming a bunch of sugar and we're staying indoors because the government says we should stay indoors when in actuality I think we should be getting outside and moving into nature so that we can be more grounded and get in alignment with, with source and with earth or Pachamama, Mother Earth. And so we need to start taking practical action to changing things. So whether that's contributing to Black Lives Matter, whether that's um, speaking up about the coronavirus and your thoughts and opinions on it. I understand there's people around you that might not necessarily understand where you're coming from, but plant the seed. Because I remember years ago, I was telling people that I don't watch the news, family members and stuff like this. Now that coronavirus is hit, they realize why I don't watch the news. Now, whilst they're they're stuck in fear from the fear mongering that's been placed upon us, the propaganda that's been pressed upon upon us, they have instilled themselves, they've been affected and infected with fear, and now they're stuck in fear and anxiety. See how that works? So um, we have to realize that these people are not out for our best interest. Okay, um, and um, we want to realize that we are being programmed, right? And that's why they call it a program on the tell lie vision, tells lies on your vision. Tell lie vision tells lies on your vision. It tells you about the world, it's a lie, and it's propaganda. And what is it doing? It's influencing your programs, okay? Your internal programs. You have you know, powerful internal programs from birth. And then it's been conditioned to be programmed in a different way. Everything that we look at in our reality, we will see that it stems from the human being. Like a computer has a screen, the eyes. It has a memory card for memory. It has, um, you know, um, keys for the keyboard, like, you know, fingers. You know, it, it all functions from the human being and the human design and sometimes even animals. And so we want to realize that. And so know your power and realize that you want to use the darkness to shine your light more. You want to use it as motivation to, to be more powerful, to, to exercise more, to, to work out, to pray, to meditate, to focus on yourself and just empower yourself to be the person that you know you truly are, right? And remind yourself of who you are. So share your message, share your light with the world, share your, your, your knowingness um, as you begin to tap into the light more okay so don't use darkness and the bad stuff happening in the world as your demise use it as your power to do more to do good to share to connect to communicate with others to create and to inspire you rather than using it to disempower you because again that's what they want okay so really go out there and do what it is that you want to do if you're passionate about starting a social media and you want to post and you want to coaching and you do want to do healing and all this stuff go and do it now this is the best time to get started with that all right this is the best time to get going and so if you're struggling with anxiety with with fears and you want to break through in your business you want to get started and you want to change your life it all starts with what's going on within your subconscious mind the kingdom of heaven is within and so you have to shift your subconscious mind in order to make that happen and right now we offer a free subconscious mind diagnosis session where you can find out more about my program neutrality shifting life mastery so you can really master your life and attract wealth abundance success confidence and feeling whole and complete and radically shift your reality your reality is a result of what's in your subconscious mind when you change your subconscious mind you'll change your life forever so get your free subconscious mind diagnosis session by clicking on my face right now (laughs) right and remember to keep learning keep growing keep expanding and i'll see you in the next video peace